it's just got to stop somewhere. Yes, it does. Another young life lost to violence as those close to the victim wonder why. In the latest case, a 20-year-old Akron man shot and killed on the city's east side. Just the latest murder in one of the deadliest years in recent history across Northeast Ohio. Five on your side investigator Scott Knoll has more tonight from Akron, where police are looking for a killer. Police here confirm this is the second time in a little over a month this victim has been shot. The 2019 East High graduate now gone. The leftover crime scene tape and bullet pierced home mark the scene of Akron's 41st homicide this year. But to Rudolph Jackson, this murder much more than a number. Oh my God, not this child. That's why what drove me over here because I wanted to see for myself. Jackson says he watched the victim, Darius Reese, grow up, coached him in peewee football. He wasn't a bad child. He was not, and I can definitely vouch for his character. That child was good. Akron police say they were called to the 1200 block of McMillan Circle around 1040 Thursday night for reports of gunshots. Officers arrived and found a woman shot in the foot. Investigators say Reese was shot multiple times. The 20 year old died at the scene. It would appear based on him being shot multiple times that he was the focus. He was the target. Uh, so that is a working theory that we've accepted. Police say they're still trying to figure out a motive for the shooting. Still not sure who the killer is. But right now they do not believe it's connected to an attack last month where Reese was shot in the arm after an argument at a high school football game. That shooter also still on the loose. None of it makes any sense to Jackson. Because his life is gone. You can't come back from that. You can't, you can't bring that back. You can't come back from that kind of action. He believes it's part of a bigger problem in Akron, a deadly issue that's now claimed another young life. No one wants to knuckle up like we used to in the old school no more. It's too easy to shoot somebody now. It's too easy to get a gun, it's too easy to take a life. Akron police say reducing violent crime remains a top priority of the department. They say detectives are working these cases and asking anyone who has information to give them a call. In Akron, I'm 500 side investigator Scott Knoll. Now here's a closer look at what's going on in Akron. As Scott just said, last night's murder makes 41 so far in 2020. Now if you add up the murder totals from both 2018 and 2019, there weren't nearly that many. And in 2017, the last time homicides were this high, there were 40 people killed.